Well, we're going to continue. I'm glad they were nice enough to let me come back. So yeah, I guess I, I guess I shouldn't do that. I feel like there's something with these mirrors, but can I punch one? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Apparently, I'm a weakling and can't punch. Oh, I left a coffin. The little coffin is open. This green slime is quite disgusting. Ah. Green slime is very thick and warm to touch. Can I move over the slime? You try to pass the slime, but it engulfs your body, dissolving it in seconds. You die instantly. No pain, no nothing. You were slimed. Fantastic. It's a sad thing your adventures have ended here. Well, I guess that's two. Let's try this again. Alright, I'm back in here. Alright. Uh, yeah, so I am not going to open this coffin. And holy crap, I'm already down another torch. Where's my other torches? Torch! Alright, let's go back. Yeah, yeah, hence enslaved dwarves. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Alright. Well, let's go into the last door. You enter a cold room. The stench of flesh and decay, flesh in decay pervades the small chamber. You begin to shiver. This room is really cold. Okay. Well, first off, take some torches. All right. So, what the hell is this thing? It's a large pestle with iron trim. All right. What about this? It's a small trap door with polished metal. Can I open it? Door is open. Uh, yeah, let's move down. Let's see what's down there. The broken fragment of the wooden ladder hangs from the opening. As you go down the trap door, you realize you took a big step. The fall is quite fatal. Ugh. That's three times in like the past five minutes. Oh, man. Yeah, I'll continue. I'm gonna grab these torches again. I can see why they make you continue. That would... That would suck if I had to go through the whole thing again. Alright. Alright, what is this hole? <laughs> um, it's a small hole in the wall, some three inches deep. Okay. Well, that's nice. Let me open this door. What's in here? Doors open. Fear grips you as you enter this hot room. Yeah, but look at all this look at all this stuff on the floor. Those eyes look a little menacing. Alright, I'm going to take the shield. Shield is in hand. Oh, what the hell was that? You raise your shield in time to drop the dragon block the dragon flame. Okay. Uh, I wonder how many more times I can do this. Let's grab the hammer. Again, fl you use the shield for protection. It's getting hot. You don't know how much longer you can stand. Well, let me grab this spear. It's getting hot. You don't know how much longer. Can I grab this? Helmet. It's getting hot. You don't know how... Okay. Bone, torch. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. Oh, snap. I think when it starts making that noise, it's because my torch is almost out. Yep. What, the, what did I tell you? Yep. Alright, cool. So, I've got a... Hell of a lot of items now. No, not spells. Items. White gem, red gem. Let's take a look at those. What what do they do? It's a dark blue gem as big as a as the pommel of a sword. It's a fine red ruby. Its color reminds you of your adventure across the sea of blood. 
What kind of king am I? It's a white stone of unknown origin. A fine thing to gamble away in a good card game. That's cool. What are these? Hey, wait a minute. This is no gold coin. It's but a brass slug. What a royal rip. Oh, that's great. Hey, what else we got going on here? A broom, shield, hammer, spear, helmet. Great. Um, do I have anything that can fit in this thing? I feel like I should. It's a small hole three inches deep. Alright, let's try using some of these gems. I wonder if these gems are going to fit. Well, how about that? Small crystal sphere magically appears on the stand. Uh, do I want to take that? What does it look like? Crystal spheres as cold as ice. Willing to sacrifice our love. Yeah, I'll take that cold as ice sphere. Uh, hey, I got an idea now. Whoa, nope, nope. Don't want to go back here. Hey, does anyone else think this looks a little weird? What is that? It's a stone wall, but it looks weird. I'm gonna hit it. Pow! Stonewall falls away to reveal a secret passage. Hell yeah, it does. Where does it go? As soon as you enter the room, you see a arrow on the wall. Well, I'm gonna take said arrow. And these torches? What? I can't take it? Why can't I take the torches? A slab of concrete rests upon two stone supports some ten feet from the floor. Can I make it up there? The ledge wasn't strong enough to hold you. You fall to the ground and land hard on your rump. Oh, that sucks. Can I, like, use these torches? Nothing happened. You moved the torch. Ha ha! You stand at the edge of a deep chasm. From the darkness below arise the screams of the undead. Man, this is a scary, scary castle, apparently. This cave is hewn, hewn? Roughly in the chasm's wall. Alright, so we've got the safe bridge, and we got the scariest sn snake bridge. Safe snake. Let's look at it. This shabby bridge is held together with nothing but frayed ropes and rotten planks. The ropes are indeed in bad condition. Alright, I'm going to assume if I try to go across that, I'm going to die. So let's go across the safe bridge. Whoa! What's this? A wraith is standing in your way, barring your path? That guy's scary! Can I take a torch? Torches in hand. Torches in hand. Okay. I'm gonna punch <laughs> I'm gonna punch a wraith. Take this! I'm afraid to get near it. Can I use my sword? Nothing happened. Can I use my sling? Waving the sling around in the air doesn't seem to be very useful. It won't work without stones. Oh, I got some stones, man. Alright, do I have anything else I can use? A broom? A hammer? A spear? Heck yeah, I got plenty of stuff. I'll use the hammer. Bam. Nothing happened. Alright. Spear? Bam. Nothing happened. I'll use this arrow. I'll stab with an arrow. Nothing happened. Can I grab... What is this thing? You can't take it. Alright, I'm out of here. Can I get past it? Okay. I'm getting back out of here. That wrath is... That wrath is some scary crap right there. Alright, so can't go this way, can't go that way. So that was a dead end. Alright, so... What else is there? Alright, let's check this out again. I have to get this key, I feel like. So, what can I use to get rid of the shark? Can I use the spear and, like, stab it? No. Stop it. Use the hammer and like hammer 
Head the shark. Ah, nothing happened. Um, okay. Can I use a gem? No gem wouldn't make any sense. Can I use a sling? Yeah, wave and sling around. Yeah, you jackass. Alright, stab something? Right, I can't just take it. I feel like that shark would get me. I have to have something to be able to get this key. There's no... A broom. I'll reach out with the broom and do one of those movie things, like in kids' movies, where they get the broom handle and, like, gently get the key before the shark wakes up. I think that makes perfect sense. Use the broom. I know neatness counts, but there would be seem to be better ways to spend your time. <laughs> These jokesters. Is the arrow? Can you use the sphere? Nothing happened. What does the sphere do? It was cold, right? Maybe I can freeze the water. You drop the sphere in the lake and notice ripples disappear as the water turns into ice. Heck yeah! Alright, let me... Now, I'm gonna take that shark. I can take this key. <laughs> can I take the orb back? Can't take it. Can I punch it or something? Oh, snap! I just noticed, uh... Hey, well, I got this moment. There's something out of the ordinary about this torch, but you can't put a finger on it. Um, can I use a torch? Like, okay, I think you can use torches, right? Can I use it on this orb? The orb has put out the flames. Oh, well, I'm glad that, glad that didn't work. Can I take the orb? Can I hit the orb? It's just sitting there. It's like it wants me to take it. How about I use a special torch on this? Okay. Oh well. I got the key. That's all that matters. Alright, so where else we got? That's the dragon place. Don't need that. I'm done with that area. Alright, let's go back to the mirrors. I bet you I can do some of those mirror glass things. Um, I got a hammer. So, that makes sense. I'm about to break some glass here. I want to use it on the mirror. As soon as you break shards, fly through the air and slice into your body. Blood pours from your wounds and your body slumps to the floor. Ah! Oh. And I'm dead.